Hello everyone, today you will learn how we can apply a point mesh or remote mesh load in SOLIDWORKS simulations. The use of point mesh or remote mesh loads get rid of the 3D modeling of unnecessary part. Only the weight effect of that part is encountered in the simulation. So first of all, download 3D model of this simulation from our video description link. And after that, start your simulation study. So click on the simulation tab and start a new simulation study. And then select the static type from the general simulations. You can give it a specific name of your own choice. Then click OK. After that, first of all, assign the material. We assume that this part is made of the aluminum alloy. Then apply a fixtures. This part is fixed on this face and the point mesh is hanging through these four holes. We just go to the fixtures and select the fixed geometry. Then select the this face. Okay. So we have applied a fixed boundary conditions here. After that, one thing that is necessary to apply a point mesh is the coordinate system. So before moving further, first of all, we will go to the 3D model. And here we will define a coordinate system. So we want to define that the coordinate system should be at the center in the center of this part and some way here. So just click on the front plane and go to the sketch. Then draw a simple point here. Okay. Assign the distance of this point from the region that is 160. This point is aligned with this region. Make it vertical. Our sketch is fully defined. Press it from sketch now. So keep this point selected and go to the reference geometry from here select the coordinate system and from the position select this point in the x axis select the this edge as as x axis and for y axis select this edge okay so you can see now we have defined a coordinate system in the 3D model. Now again go to the simulations and from here go to the external loads and select the remote mesh or point mesh load. Then select the faces of remote load. So select the these four faces of the holes 1, 2, 3 and this 4. So point mass is applied or hanging through these four holes. And from the coordinate system select this, click on the user defined and select this system. And location is our point mass is at its this coordinate system and apply a load in the y direction. So click on the y. You can see arrow symbol show that load is applied in this direction. Here, just yes, uh, apply a load of 10,000 Newton. 
and reverse its direction. Okay. Just hide the coordinate system and all as axis. Now run your simulation study and wait until your solution converged. So our simulation has been completed now. You can see the stress behavior due to this point mass. Just go to the ID definition of the stress guards and uh, change units to mega pascal. So you can see that the maximum stress is 20.6 mega pascal while the yield strength of the material is 27.5 mega pascal. So maximum stress is less than that of the yield strength. If you check the deformation, so maximum deformation occurs at tip of these four clamps that is 0 0.005 millimeter. If we animate this, so its behavior will be like this. You can also calculate the factor of safety. Go to the results and define factor of safety. Then stress. Then select the maximum maximum one major stress theory. So minimum factor of safety is 1.3. You can change the deformation scale of deformations and go to the true one. So in this way you will have learned how you can assign or simulate a point mass simulations. I hope you enjoyed this simulations. Thank you for watching.